And now, your selection. Meet the stars. Roll camera. Speed. Pick one, C marker. Background. Ready? Action. I was attracted to Timeline by the name Michael Crichton. I've always wanted to do a Michael Crichton picture. The notion of Timeline is having 20th century people in, in this setting that's phenomenally colorful and phenomenally dangerous, in which their lives are at risk every second. We're running out of time. Go, go, go! go, go! It's what Crichton does best, you know, taking some scientific possibility and then saying, what if that was a reality? 30 years ago, the business world was revolutionized with a machine that could instantly send documents anywhere Johnson in the world Dirt. with the push of a button. Mr. Doniger's vision was to do the same with three-dimensional objects. I think one of the most interesting things about the story is this three-dimensional fax machine, something that can send not only objects but humans to a different time. What you're saying is, is that you accidentally discovered time travel. Yes. Your father he insisted on going. Yeah, now he's stuck back there. Well, that's where you all come in. Basically, it's a rescue mission to rescue my father, who's stuck back in 1357. It's kind of how these people deal with the situation. So it's just a great story. What the hell are we doing? We're getting a chance of a lifetime. As soon as the people step into that machine and that clock starts running, that clock doesn't stop. Boom, as soon as you hit go. Let's do it. Take cover now! We arrive in this world and we're thrown right into the midst of all this. What we wanted to do was make it as realistic as possible so that you feel that you are back in the Middle Ages. This castle they built was unbelievable, just fantastic. And to get up on the top of it and, and look down and look out in the field and see thousands of soldiers and, and horses and armor, I mean, it's, it's an incredible spectacle. We're just going to do a rehearsal. I remember seeing the castle for the first time. It was all lit up. And it did look like you were actually driving into the 14th century. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Let's see what you're going to do. As a kid, you know, every stick was a sword. I always dreamt about being a knight, you know, being around these guys in armor and the whole bit. There's 500 horses and knights with swords coming right at you, so it makes it so easy to act because you get pretty scared to death during half of this stuff. Action! To say action was scary because you were right in the middle of a medieval battle, and to say cut, it was even scarier because are they going to hear you and are they really going to stop? It's quite the thing to see on film. You can't leave seven people stuck back there! I have never seen a film quite like this where there's so much going on. It's a thriller, it's romantic, it's a fantasy, it's an adventure. It's got all of those things. We have these people being thrown back into a period of time that is so scary, and you'll be caught up in the clock of their lives of will they get out, will they make it, will they live to tell this tale? It's just a great time.